MSI equipped us with three high-end GTX 1080 Ti graphics cards. And even though they are not as power hungry as graphics cards used to be 10 years ago, each of these 1000 Euro monsters still has quite the energy demand. Which makes it all the more important to know exactly how much energy you're going to need for them. Unfortunately, the manufacturer's information is not always that precise. One of these cards needs about 600 watts in order to function properly. Today we want to show you how one of our straight power PSUs can power not just one, but actually three of them. We use our Dark Bay 700 case as a basis for the MSI X299 Gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard and the Intel i7-7820X CPU, whose 8 cores will put heavy demand on the power supply unit and will be kept cool by our very own Dark Rock Pro 3. Four DDR4 memory modules, a GeForce GTX 1080T 11G card and of course our straight power 11 with 750 watts complete the build, which we have inverted for demonstration purposes. First, just to know how much power is consumed while working in no-frills Windows mode, we have run a barebones test, in which 74 watts are demanded. Running a game in full detail is a different beast of course. We have chosen Fortnite, cranked its detail to 11 and had it running with 170 through 230 frames per second, which resulted in 410 watts of power consumption. So far, so good. For the next test, we have installed a second 1080 Ti card and left the gaming world behind as no game can actually guarantee maxing out both graphics cores in full HD. So we chose the popular 3D Mark Firestrike Extreme, which doesn't show our mad gaming skills, but bears the much more interesting information of about 600 watts in power consumption. Hmm, how can that be? According to the official specs, both cards should drain about 1200 watts. Well, let's see what happens when we install the third card. Of course, we could utilize a program like Blender now and use the three graphics cards as a rendering farm. But we want to put max demand on the cores. And so we use crypto mining as the ultimate exercise in continuous operation. Unfortunately, the graphics cards take up two and a half slots each and so they don't fit onto the X299 Gaming Pro motherboard. At least not in the regular way, which forced us to be a bit more creative and use a riser cable for vertical installation. Which makes it look quite awesome, don't you think? Following the software configuration, we held our breath. Could our straight power 11 run all of this with 750 watts? Hooray! It can. 3 GTX 1080 Ti with 11 GB of RAM each which are supposed to consume 1800 watts of power and an unused CPU idling with about 60 watts ran for hours without any hitch. How is that possible? I knew that our straight power 11 could handle the task. The system pulls about 700 watts of power and delivers about 640 of them to the system on the secondary. The main power consumption from the graphics cards is being delivered by the important 12 volt rails. Which is not a problem for the straight power 11, as it's capable of delivering 100% of the full 750 watts over the 12 volt rails. That being said, there are still many no-name power supply units on the market, also known as Chinese crackers, which are not able to keep their power promises. The reason for that is twofold. Firstly, the promised power is only available for very short periods of time. This so-called peak performance sometimes lasts only a few seconds or even just fractions of seconds. Secondly, these power supplies are not able to deliver the full power over the 12 volt rails, so that they also only carry a fraction of it. So, the 600 watt recommendation by MSI is in no way a false claim. It's merely a necessary compromise including the lowest common denominator, which is in this case a no-name power supply unit which might or might not be able to actually provide the necessary power through the 12 volt reels, even though it should according to its label. 
So using one of these PSUs, which cannot guarantee the necessary power and, in the worst case, doesn't come with any safety protection, might cut it very, very close, in more than one way. Thanks to the fully modular cable management, we've replaced the PSU with a 450 watt model and let it do some crypto mining with two graphics cards. While both 1080 Ti cards were maxed out, we have measured an incoming demand of up to 500 watts. This particular PSU has an efficiency rating of 90% and is working on full capacity thusly, but it's stable. In order to put the protective circuit to the test, we've also activated the CPU Low Test Prime, which in itself drains about 280 watts. And as expected, when we started mining under these conditions, the system automatically shut down very quickly protecting its components. To avoid any confusion, our measuring instrument would have displayed 780 watts with a slight delay. But by this time, the protective circuit already did its work. Our Straight Power 11 PSU delivered flawlessly. If you want to run a system with a GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, even the 550 watt model leaves you with power to spare. If you intend to overclock massively though, you should take a bigger model, because the 8 core CPU alone pulls more than 200 watts. So with the 750 watt version and its strong 12 volt rail, the full package with the high end graphics troika run without any problems and obviously without any noise. After all, that's what our name stands for.